<clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys something here. Uh, so what I'm doing is I am actually cleaning up sulfuric acid. I uh, just got some drain cleaner, sulfuric acid, and the SDS says it's between 85 and 87 percent. So I charged my reaction flask right here with it. Um, and uh, so what I ended up doing is uh, I distilled off this much water here. Um, and uh, so this is 500 milliliters and uh, so I got probably close to 100 milliliters in here um, this is all the water that came over and there's got to be some kind of azeotropic stuff in here and some other impurities that are in it because when this is boiling over this is actually coming over at about 150 uh, C and uh, my thermometer was a little bit over immersed so it was probably a little bit less than that, uh, to be honest. It's probably around 130 C. Still, uh, yeah, I'm not up in the mountains or anything, so I'm relatively normal atmospheric pressure. Uh, anyhow, so then I switched out my receiving flask here uh, once it stopped distilling over at that temp, and um, I've been collecting sulfuric acid now for oh, about an hour and a half, and you can see it's uh, you know it's not the fastest distillation. If I would have uh, put a fire underneath this instead of my heating mantle, I'm sure this would go a lot better. And it's going a little bit slower too because I'm using an Allen condenser improperly, really. I mean, it's a condenser, it'll work. Uh, but some of the um, stuff, because it is so efficient and it's got these chambers, some of the sulfuric acid starts to kind of collect in here. I put it at a bigger angle. Uh, it's more than just a 75 degree angle there um, so that it would kind of flow out of there a little bit faster uh, was my thought have gravity kind of pull on it a little bit more um, but either way it's working um, if you're going to try this and clean this up at all I recommend putting boiling chips in definitely um, I had to actually stop the distillation uh, and add boiling chips which was a little difficult because uh, so uh, the acid had just started to boil and it started bumping a lot on me and uh, because I'm distilling sulfuric acid here I did not grease any of my joints and you can see kind of why right there that is just residual uh, joint grease it was kind of left in there I didn't get them perfectly clean up here you can see it happening too so that sulfur dioxide that's coming up and the sulfuric acid fumes are just oxidizing anything that's in there and since I was boiling the acid uh, I, the sulfuric acid likes to creep up into joints like that so it'll act as its own grease however the problem was that it just started to boil and it hadn't boiled thoroughly enough to get into all of my joints so basically these two stoppers here were seized up on me and so I had to pull out my thermometer well, wait for it to cool down a good bit, throw some boiling chips in it. Uh, so just stick those in beforehand, especially if you're going to use a flame on this. Uh, word to the wise, then you won't have to worry about recovering from some stupid incident like that. Um, so I, I was lucky, actually, that this joint wasn't seized up on me because uh, everything was already hot. So I couldn't really take a heat gun to it and heat it up that much more. Uh, I mean, I could have if I would have had to. Uh, you could have just got it up to a thousand degrees or something. But uh, only another thing really of note here is I've got a little wash bottle set up there, and uh, got a pretty generous amount of 90% sulfuric acid in there. And uh, so that's to trap any of my uh, sulfur dioxide that makes it past the condenser. Uh, it's you know bad for the environment and. Uh, it's not not too great on my metal objects that are in here either so um, so yeah so what's coming over here this should be 98% sulfuric acid uh, I will take a density reading once it comes over all the way but I mean it looks pretty much like 98 should it's real syrupy fairly clear um, and in my experiences the Sulfuric acid will get a little darker when it heats up, but then as soon as it cools down, it will clear up nicely. So uh, there could be a little bit of impurity tinge to 
uh, what I'm collecting here. And that's probably from a little bit of carbon impurities from, you know, like up here in the joints where it's oxidizing that and then coming through the condenser. Uh, that won't hurt anything. What I'm driving at here uh, is, well, I mean, 98%. H2SO4 is great to have around in the lab. Sometimes the drain cleaner just won't cut it. But I'm actually trying to make oleum here. Um, need to wait till it warms up so that I can redo my sulfur trioxide synthesis. And uh, then I can make some oleum once I have this. Um, so that's what I'm shooting at here. Uh, I don't have a thermometer in it right now because it really doesn't matter. It's just how does it's going to get. It's coming over right around 330C. And that's right where it should be for sulfuric acid. I think by memory the boiling point is supposed to be 331. But it, the atmospheric differences and pressure, it's not really unreasonable for it to be coming over a degree or two under. Um, so there's the sulfuric acid distillation. Uh, I might come back and show you the density reading on this. Uh, I did not use any peroxide for this um, beforehand. A lot of people will uh, clean up sulfuric acid by oxidizing it with some 30% or greater um, hydrogen peroxide first. And uh, that's really useful if you've got a lot of dyes and other junk like that in the H2SO4 that you're trying to clean up. However, this is what it looked like beforehand. You can see there's no dyes in it really. It's just kind of discolored from water impurities and then some other uh, whatever they put in it as far as their stabilizer so it doesn't eat your pipes up. Um, and if you compare the color of that there, and you're looking at maybe 50 mils, you compare that to that and you're looking at let me see that's 250 so you're looking at uh probably about the same amount a little bit more probably and sorry i got cracks on the bottom there but it's a lot more clear and it's noticeably thicker in appearance too a little bit more viscous so well that is uh basically the process for cleaning up sulfuric acid that does not have a lot of dyes and other impurities in it I uh, hope this helped. As always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.